Okay, now, for those of you who are hanging with it, um, we are going to take the valves out of the head. If you've never seen this before, this is a um, valve spring compressor. This is a, uh, you can buy them online for a few, few dollars, 20, 30 dollars for these things. They have a removable, um, what do you call these? This would be some type of a stand, I guess, that uh, fits over the valve spring retainer plate that then allows you to, to tighten up the clamp and that pushes the valve springs down, compresses them, and that releases the pressure on the keepers when you take the keepers off. And then the valve spring uh, is able to be removed from the, uh, the assembly. And then the valves can be removed. So we're going to do one right now. This is the intake valve on the right side of the, of the uh, head. So what you do is, is you adjust this thing so you get the <clears throat> bottom stand in the middle of the valve itself. Then you screw this down centered on top of the valve spring keep the top a little little flat plate that holds the little keepers in place <clears throat> they're like little clamshells and you retrieve those using a little magnet and you pull those out one at a time actually you pull out two at a time in this case so that's what those look like Okay, they neck around the top of the valve. Here's, here's the valve. And these sit around this little divot in the top of the valve and hold the thing in place. So, put all your little parts in here. And then you take your tension off carefully, holding it steady so it doesn't bounce off of the spring top. Is now coming towards the top of the clamp, and you then have enough slack to be able to remove it. And then you take the keeper off. See, little plate. And then the springs themselves. There's an inner spring and an outer spring that sit down on top of the valve head. All right, we're going to set them aside. In case you're wondering, I'm keeping them all straight here in the, in the bucket. It's left, right, intake, X. I think I'll be able to keep track of that. <laughs> I'll label it all before I get done. Um, but having done that, then you need some kind of follower like this to go in and tap the uh, valve out of the uh, valve seat. And so I'm going to do that with some wood holding it up and out of place and make sure the wood doesn't interfere with the valve travel. And you just set that punch on top of the valve head itself. Tap gently, driving the valve out of the head. There. Ran into the table, but you'll be able to see exhaust the intake valve is almost completely exposed I should just be able to pop it out of there plenty of dirt what do you think let's see what it's been living in what do y'all see there yeah yeah baby I like that one too I like the kind of blue green mold inside there along with the rust and stuff. Those valve seats, well, we'll find out. We'll find out as we go. And here's a close-up of the valve. Let's see, how's that? The surface, right where it mates to the, to the head, may not be too bad. And of course the bottom, just the usual corrosion. All right, we can clean that up later. So, what? Rinse and repeat. Let's do the exhaust valves. Let's see here. Turn it this way, get it oriented correctly. 